everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks, and in this video I'm going to go over the basics of Travis picking. I'm going to share with you three simple Travis picking patterns that you could play on any chord in any chord progression. Before we get into the lesson, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. Alright, so Travis picking is named after the great Merle Travis. And Merle Travis was a guitar player that had a style where he would keep an alternating bass line with his thumb and then use his other finger or fingers to add other notes in the chord. So one single guitar could sound like a bass player and a guitar player all in one. So I'm gonna demonstrate on this C chord. Now I don't have to do all three bass notes like that. I could just do two like this. Just the root note and the third above, or I could do just the root note and the fifth below. That, right now watch what happens I'm gonna play that alternating bass line and then add other notes in the chord now I could just keep a single bass note and it'll still sound cool or I could do two of the bass notes instead of three cool right all right, so now I'm gonna share with you three Travis picking patterns just to get you started. These are gonna be pretty simple ones and you could apply them to any chord. We're gonna start by doing them all on a D chord because what's nice about the D chord is that it's just the top four consecutive strings of the guitar. So we're gonna start on this D chord. I'm gonna give each string of the D chord a number. So one, two, three, four, counting from toes to nose. One, two, three, four, okay. So our bass notes are gonna be strings four and three. And let's just practice alternating between those two. Just like that. Now, if you don't have a thumb pick, that's okay. You could just go like this. Some people prefer that sound, it's warmer. Okay, now you might want to practice that for a minute and then come back. All right, the next step is we're gonna go like this. And let's start this out really slow. We're gonna go four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. Now you can do thumb, index, thumb, index. I actually watched some footage of Merle Travis earlier, and he seemed to only use these two fingers in the video I watched. Thumb, index, thumb, index. Or you could do what I do, which is thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle four two three one thumb index thumb middle as far as technique goes i like to keep my hand stationary and just use the first joint of the finger to get all my movement instead of going like that that's not going to be good or you don't want to go like that either you want to keep your hand stationary and this way, when you want to go fast, your fingers are there to do it. And then, as far as where to play, if you have any nail, like I do, I like to play right where the nail meets the flesh. If I do all nail, it can get kind of caught, and if I do all flesh, it also gets kind of caught. So there's a nice spot there where it just comes off nice and smooth, and I get a good tone right between that nail and the flesh, right where it meets. So one more time. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. Okay, so the second one, we're gonna do another one where we never have two notes playing at the same time. So another very simple one. And then the third one, we're actually gonna have where two notes play at the same time, a bass note and a higher note. So here's the second one. Very similar. It's just gonna go. So 
So we've got four, one, three, two. Four, one, three, two. Four, one, three, two. Four, one, three, two. A little faster and with the thumb pick. Now, as you can see right now, I have my pinky planted. I like having my pinky planted when I'm only using these three fingers. If I start using my fourth finger, I lift up my pinky for sure because it, the two ligaments, they work better when they're together. So the pinky kind of slows down my, my ring finger. But again, we can use our, just these two, just our lobster claw if we want. That's just all lobster claw. <laughs> I personally prefer these three. Because I feel like I don't have to move as much. You see, when I use my first finger, it's just it's a little more movement. Now the third one, we're gonna to put together some notes like this, and now we're, we're really getting more towards that Merle Travis sound. I'll demonstrate first. All right, let me explain that. We're keeping that alternating bass line, even though it might not sound that way. See, it's still there. And I'm gonna call these the outside notes and these the inside. So we're doing outside, three, two, four, one, three. 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 I'm gonna do that really slow. Outside, three, two, four, one, three. Outside three, two, four, one, three. Outside three, two, four, one, three. Outside three, two, four, one, three. Even slower. Outside three, two, four, one, three. Outside three, two, four, one, three. Outside three, two, four, one, three. Very common one. Now with all of these, the best way to get these patterns is practice them super slow until you have them totally memorized and you're not thinking outside for, you just wanna, you just wanna kind of have a feel for how that sounds for it to really get in your muscle memory. And then once you have it, then it's just a matter of slowly speeding it up. But you never wanna go so fast that it falls apart. You wanna always find your maximum comfort zone and just gradually stretch that. All right, now the fourth one's gonna go like this. Very similar to the third one. So what we're gonna do is four, three and one, four, two, three, one, 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 four, three and one, four, two, three, one. Now I'm gonna try without the thumb pick and doing the lobster claw. Much warmer sounding, right? Without that thumb pick. Four, three and one, four, two, three, one, four, three and one, four, two, three, one, four, three and one, four, two, three, one. And then at full speed, that's gonna sound like this.
All right, so now we could apply all these patterns to any chord. Let's say A minor C D. Or pattern number two. Pattern number three. Pattern number four. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that lesson and you feel like you can now add some basic Travis picking to your chords. This was a very simple introduction. If you want to learn more about Travis picking and fingerstyle guitar, head over to guitartricks.com where there's a whole course on this stuff. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson. Happy playing.